how to remove an image from Google search. As promised, I'm creating updated video tutorials for removing content from Google. Let's imagine we're talking about an image or a photo that you want removed from Google search is published on some external website. Let's imagine that's the case. At that moment, if you file a removal request for that image or photo, then in 99% of the cases, Google will respond by saying, you know what? Google cannot remove that content from third party web pages. That means for you to be able to remove that image successfully, you need to follow a different approach if that image is on some external website. Let's imagine this was the image we're talking about. Let's say this is your image. You want that removed from Google. Well, if that image can be found from Google, normal web search, whether it is found from Google image search, the only person who can remove that is actually the website owner. In this scenario, it's me. Because the moment I delete that image from my web page, then next time when Google visits this URL, it's not going to see that image anymore. Thus, it's going to remove it from its results as well. Okay, so always ask this question to yourself. Where is the image hosted? Is it on some external third-party website? If so, you contact the website owner. Now, if the image or photo we're talking about is hosted on servers owned by Google, then if you have no way of contacting the website owner, then you can contact Google for removal requests. Once again, always understand the fact that Google is a business that obeys the law. European citizens have different rights compared to Australian citizens or USA citizens. That is why it is smart to read through Google Policies help section. There is certain type of information Google is willing to remove. Let's imagine there is explicit personal images or nudity images or images of minors. Then they have different guidelines accordingly. Then you need to follow the links through the help section to file a request for different type of content. Ask yourself, is the product owned by Google? A blogger platform is owned by Google. Google Docs is owned by Google. Okay, YouTube is owned by Google as well. That's why, how can you contact a website owner for blogger? Because when you contact and they don't receive, who else can you interact with them? Then it's Google. Because Google owns blogger. It owns the server. And as always, stay away from spammy reputation management services because most of them will do more harm than good. While here, do keep in mind, Rank has created a private course that you may find useful. It's a private course because some of the things here I actually cannot publish on Rank your YouTube channel due to YouTube guidelines and policies. Okay? One way or another, to be able to remove content, whether it's an image, name, and so on, it's smart to read through the policies and then follow rank insights. Then your interaction is going to be successful. Never contact Google for removal request without understanding how it works, or else each interaction that is negative, as an unsuccessful, creates a challenge in the future, so to speak, okay? Because Google wants you to understand the policy that they have. And if you haven't taken the time to even read it, then that's not smart either. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. 
and I'll talk with you in the next video session.